back to the channel in another episode of The Sims 4 with my favorite Sim family, all my daughter series, the Blackman family. And today they are having their morning breakfast and everyone is happy and getting ready for another productive day at work. And the dad, uh, Lorenz here, is doing a little bit of further questioning on Brennan Wright, who has been actually been a house guest with the family for quite some time now. And I think that everyone is getting a little bit more um, inquisitive about who Brennan really is. Brennan has been living with them for a while. Um, if you don't remember, uh, during the Thanksgiving special, Brennan actually revealed to the family that um, he is the son of Krista. Now, Krista is the maid of the household. She's been with the family for years, um, just been such a pleasure to have, and she wants nothing more than the family to be happy. And she also has um, taken a liking to Brennan as well, but she knows that she wants to protect the family also because this family is someone that's been her family for a long time. And although Brennan says that, you know, hey, I'm your son, down deep, Krista says to herself, you know, you might be my son, but who are you? Who are you? And I need to know that you are you know, a really good person that you would not harm this family. And so Krista really wants to get to the bottom of who Brennan really is and what he is about. So in an effort to protect the family, um, she has made the conscious decision to um, actually hire um, a private investigator uh, to kind of follow bad. around Brennan to Ooh. see who he really is look into his past to see if he is really her son. So this is what, um, you know, Krista has felt is going to be the right decision for the family um, to protect them because um, for the most, you know, for most of her, her life, um, you know, being that she did have Brennan um, at a young age, um, she has been living with the Blackman family, um, raising all of Lorenza's kids and so she loves those girls as if they were her own and so knowing that they are protected and that everyone in the household is protected will make her feel a lot better so she is going to call up um, a detective in town actually she is actually going to go pay him a visit later and really see what he can do to find out who Brennan really is. He is really upset and it's really been wearing on him and so he really wanted to have a conversation with Lonnie today because Lonnie has been keeping this secret from her family uh, regarding their relationship she's letting everyone know that they're just friends that they are just business partners and that you know he is her artist and she is just trying to help him and that is it but that is not actually what's really going on they are actually secretly engaged. The family does not know that they're engaged. The family does not know that Dee is actually living with Lonnie. And he is just very upset. They are now engaged. And he wants for her to know that he loves her. He wants to have children with her. And that he wants to be more part of the family. And he wants for her to tell her family that they are in a serious relationship. Lonnie, being the older sister in the family, feels as if she wants to make her father happy. This is what Lonnie is and always has been. She's a daddy's girl and she's always wanting to make him happy. And she knows that if she tells him about D, that her father might not approve because he always has this thing, her father, Lorenz, that you should not date anyone that works for us, especially if he is not on the same level or even higher than 
than, you know, what Lonnie is. You know, Lonnie is an executive at her father's record company, Legendary Records, and she is head of A&R, and he only wants the best for Lonnie. And and that goes for all of his daughters. And for her to have a relationship with someone that is less of or less than is out of the question for her father. So she is really, really squeamish about telling her father that she is in love with an artist that's on the record label and it is going to come to a head because D um, he loves her so much as you can see but he just can't take it anymore and he wants her to tell her family or he is actually threatening to leave her so what is a girl to do should she tell her family or should she you know, kind of ruin this beautiful relationship that she has with the man that really loves her, despite the fact that he is a struggling artist in that he is not on the same level that she is on. So they are actually having drinks and just trying to discuss this whole situation. She's upset about it. You know, she's trying to, as you can see, smooth it over. Um, but D is just too upset about it. He really wants some action to take place in this. And it just has to get better than this. It definitely does. I'm going to have her go over and give him a kiss. Maybe that will kind of butter him up and kind of just let him understand that, you know, it has to do with timing and when the right time comes along then it'll be better it'll definitely be better her father will probably have a better understanding and D is letting or asking her well when will that be because baby your time is running out and I don't want to walk down the aisle with you and your parents are not there and that they don't know that you and I have been an item and that we are in love and you know I think that D honestly deserves that respect that he definitely has waited way too long and I think that if it was me I would have been out of this situation but I know that you know, love sometimes takes us into a different place, but we have to understand that, you know, sometimes love um, comes in many different ways, and it's important that you respect the person that you love, and if she really valued and treasured their relationship, then she does need to say something. She really, really does. So, so I think that that is that is what she definitely needs to do. See, he already wants to try for a baby. I don't think we're going to go there yet, but I'm hoping that, you know, Lonnie will come around and, you know, really give her boo what he wants, and that is to feel valued, feel cherished, and feel like he is a part of the family. He's been like a great guy. He's been very supportive of her, and I think that it is time that he does give her or show her that respect, um, or that he rather, that she shows him the respect rather, that he is, is actually in his room um, counting the money from a deal that he made last night and um, everything is going pretty good he's definitely able to stack up some cash um, for his uh, plan and when he receives a call um, from uh, an unexpected person uh, he wasn't expecting to hear from his boss actually today and his boss wants to know you know hey man when is the deal gonna go through um, when are you going to uh, get what we came for? And Brennan is letting him know that he just needs a little bit more time to get to know the Blackmans and to really get in on Lorenz's good side. And so, um, you know, his boss is just like, hurry it up. We definitely want to get this going. And you're taking more time than's needed in order to get this job done. And if you can't do it, I'll find someone else who can. And when they do it, it won't be pretty. So Brendan has a lot on his mind, a lot that he needs to do, and a lot that he needs to take care of. Um, and he's like a, a like in a rock in a hard place because he knows that you know he needs to do his job. That's what he came here for. Um, but on the other hand, he's gotten really close with the family, and you know he really doesn't want to 
he really doesn't want to hurt them. Although, you know, that's his job. He really doesn't want to, you know, really let them find out who the real Brennan is. And Miss Lyra here is spending some quality time with her beautiful baby brother, Lorenz. And as you can see, Lorenz is getting so big, he's actually growing some hair. And his big blue eyes are even showing even more than ever. And, you know, Lyra is laughing and she is so happy. She hasn't been happy in quite some time. And I think it's because she has now been able to really feel like the woman that she is. And um, she's just super excited for, you know, and very happy for what her dad has done for her. And that is giving her her own business. Um, the business has been so successful since the grand opening um, that they actually are going to be having tonight. Um, but uh, they've been having... Oh my God, so much um, support from the community. People have been buying and the clothes have been flying off the racks. And she, as a fashion designer, has really been able to um, really kind of show what she really can do as an entrepreneur. And she is just so grateful for her father. Um, and so... You know, she always comes to Krista for advice and support, and Krista is always cheering her on. Um, Krista, you know, remembers just kind of, you know, walking her and, and teaching her how to walk, being that, you know, um, Lyra's mom died at a young age, and she died when Lyra was just a little baby. And so, um, you know, Krista feels as if, you know, Lyra is her daughter. And so they have such a great relationship. And she's just giving her um, a bit of advice for taking it slow and just making sure that she uses her mind when it comes to making decisions in her business and being the entrepreneurial woman that she is. And so Krista is telling her how proud she is of her. <laughs> New beam shown. From Smazy. Was that a Shiraji? <laughs> and Krista, she always seems to have um, a little bit of a joke whenever she's, you know, really giving some good advice. She's just a great, a great, you know, role model for the girls. She always has been. And the girls love her. And they don't know what they would do without Krista. She's been such a great support for the family. And um, it's just, you know, unfortunate that, you know, um, things are just being kind of shaken up with um, Brennan coming into town. The girls don't see it. They think that he's a real wonderful guy. Um, but Krista is starting to have her doubts about him. Um, and so, um, as I said, her plan is to go and investigate him and see what he is really about. Lonnie is just so upset right now. Um, she actually wanted to meet with Krista because Krista has always been like a second mom to her and she really feels comfortable with Krista and so Krista and her um, have met up at the Shrieking Llama and um, she just wanted to talk to her have a couple of drinks and talk to her and she just wanted to kind of get some advice because Lonnie has been feeling really bad lately. Um, she's been keeping some things from her dad. And so Lonnie is revealing to Krista that her and um, her boy toy, D Banks, um, have actually been not only living together, but they um, have secretly... Um, have secretly gotten engaged and so she is really really um kind of in a turmoil right now in her mind she really doesn't want her father to find out but she knows that this is something that she needs to do because um it's just the right thing to do um and she's just letting Krista know that you know with the way that her dad is that she knows that he would object to her being married um or actually being engaged to someone rather um being engaged to someone that her father um didn't approve of um i think that um you know lonnie feels that 
you know, her father thinks D is a cool guy, but not the right one for her. And so she's kind of meeting with Krista just to get Krista's thoughts on it, to see what Krista thinks. Um, and Krista is giving her nothing but good advice. Um, she's just letting her know that, you know, her, your dad is um, a very loving and, and, and a wonderful dad. And so he only wants you all to be happy. And so if you would just allow him, give him the opportunity to give his advice on it and, you know, give him, you know, let him be able to give you his blessings and not worry about anything else um, and just let everything flow. Um, let your heart take you where it should go and don't let anyone you know take you from what your feelings are and so she's just really giving her some really great advice advice that Lonnie really needs you know her mom being gone has always been hard on her and so she's just really happy about the fact that you know Krista is in her corner and they're listening you know she wanted to tell um, Lonnie before um, she leaves and she wants to know you know she's really kind of confronting Lonnie about why she hasn't come by to see the new baby um, after the uh, sip and see and, uh, you know, Lonnie is just saying that, you know, I love my dad and um, I just want to keep the friction down. If you didn't know, um, Kylie and I actually got into a fight. And so I want to keep things very, very quiet right now. Um, I don't agree with the adoption. I don't agree with their marriage. And I just don't agree with the whole situation. Um, I think that she is a horrible person. I just don't think that my father can see it yet. I think that she's a gold digger and she's only out for money and what my dad has. And I think that, you know, the minute the better opportunity comes along, she will be on her way. And I really just want my dad to be happy. Um, and I'm tired of fighting. I'm tired of fighting with my dad over this. I'm tired of fighting with her. And I just want to be, I just want the, everyone to be happy. And I don't want to, you know, be the, um, the one to spoil the party. If everyone else is happy with her, then I just wanted to let it be. And, you know, Krista's letting her know that, you know, I understand and I really want you to get to know Kylie because Kylie is actually a beautiful person. I don't really think that you've given her enough time to really see how she really is. Um, and I think that you would be really happy to see how well she is doing with um, your baby brother, Lorenz. And, you know, Lonnie is saying, you know, I understand that. I'm glad that she is making my father happy, but I still feel that there is something about her that I can't put my finger on. But one day, I think that we will all find out who the real Kylie is. Has finally decided to go ahead and basically pursue um, a private investigator to investigate um, her so-called son. And um, she feels a little bit bad about it, but yet she feels like she really wants to know who Brennan is. And so um, she has gotten with the private investigator. His name is uh, Gene Howard. And Gene Howard is known around uh, the Windenburg, Willow Creek area as being the best private investigator out there. He works for the local police station. And um, tonight she is meeting up with him um, and really trying to figure out, you know, who Brennan is. She wants to know his past. She wants to know, you know, who he associates with and um, why has he come to finally meet her? Why now? And um, does he have anything else that's on his agenda? So, um you know, Gene is letting her know that he will take the case, that he will look into this as he is a good friend of the family um, and that he really respects the black men. And he would also want to know just to make sure that they are safe as well. Um, back in the day, Gene um, did some work for Lorenz, um, really just trying to protect his property um, as, you know, being that Lorenz is a very, very... Um, popular man in town so Krista um 
Krista feels really good about this. Um, he's popular. He's known around town with being the best private eye. And she feels like this will definitely um, really kind of put her mind at ease. Um, she feels a little bit bad because she did want to kind of like take Brennan's word for it. But with him being so evasive and not really being truthful with the family, she really wants to know who Brennan really is. And so I think that she's made a good decision on this and we will see what happens next.